the first rule is a Joe Pike novel. And Joe is substantially different from my usual protagonist, uh, Elvis Cole. You know, Elvis is a modern guy. He's, he's funny, he's witty. Joe Pike, not so much. Joe will kick your ass. Joe is perhaps the hardest man there is. You can take that however you want it. One of Pike's closest friends, uh, a young man named Frank Meyer, is murdered along with his family. Frank represented Joe Pike's secret dreams of people to love, a family to care for. That's taken from Joe. And I think the people who did this thing, they reached into Joe's heart and they squeezed. The worst thing you can do is to break the first rule, which is don't make Pike mad. And Joe Pike is a dragon slayer. So his dragon had to be the biggest, baddest dragon on the streets. That's how I came to the Serbian mob, because no one is worse than them. But these are hard and determined professional criminals. To these guys, our law enforcement system uh, is virtually non-existent. Because of the nature of Frank Meyer's murder, the scene is crawling with cops. LAPD, federal agents, ATF, they're watching every move. And Joe Pike, he has to be better than all of them, because more than anyone else, Joe Pike wants the men who murdered his friend. This is Joe Pike's novel, but Elvis is there, because you can't have one without the other. It never gets into a competition as who has to be front and center. These guys love each other. They're there for each other. They have each other's back. And for you John Shen fans, rest assured, John is back in this book too. I, I know, hold your breath, it's there. And no, I'm going to tip you the answer. He doesn't get laid in this book either. I, I was so excited when I finished writing the first rule by Joe and, and by all the things that lay before us with Joe that I wanted to come back to him. So next year's book is going to be another Joe Pike novel. I'm already writing it.